what's going on guys and in this video I'm going to show you something pretty awesome something pretty cool to have in your tool belt as a coder so if we have this boring random old text over here and if you wanted to say max limit over here and if you wanted to change that part of the text only to something like red or your custom kind of um, whitish red or if you wanted to say that this part only is bold or underlined or the font size is different than the rest. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you all about that in detail. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now before we get started. So right here, if it is a female, the female keyword is red. And if it's a male, the male keyword is blue. And also, if I wanted, I could make it bold or underline it. And these are my own custom colors because Unity supported colors. Ah. I don't really like so we got that taken care of and I would say this is pretty awesome to know I just learned it myself just to make text very flexible but before we get started I want to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already so if you want more content like this leave some positive feedback down below and with that being said let's just jump right into it alright so to get started I'm gonna show you the text that I'm going to modify so whenever I spawn a fish, it says if it's a female or a male that was spawned. So it says a male, minnow, and then male, 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 and then a female. Finally, you get different genders of fish. But I want it to be whenever it says male, it's kind of a bluish tint on the male part. And when it says female, it's kind of a pinkish tint. And I'm assuming that you already have a text that you want to modify. So we can finally jump into our code, assuming you have everything ready. I've kind of set up all of these regions to tidy things up for the video. But basically all we're going to be focusing on is, let me just kind of focus your scope right here. If the fish is male, I go to my debug dialog, which is what instantiates a new text. And it says male. And else it says, actually let's drop that, else it says it's a female. So if I want this male color to be a blue, all I have to do is come in here and say color is equal to blue. And then I can close this off and then I can break this color so that this text right here or the rest of the text is going to be not blue. So I'll just break this color with a slash make sure you have these brackets and if you put a space in here or in here it will not work so make sure you do not have any spaces so basically all I'm saying is it's a male plus the fish's name and then I have this color which is a um, argument that I pass in what I want the whole color of the text to be that's just the function I made for my debug dialog and if you're just so eager to know what's in this function, just in case anyone in the comments really wants to know, all it really is is this. So I have a show text on the bottom left and then a show text on top center. I have a grid layout group and I instantiate a new text into the grid layout group. I set it as the first sibling so that it's just the first text that's shown. I set the color to the past color and I set the font size to my font size in the settings and I have a past string over here and I have this text as a prefab every time I want to instantiate it and over here I call instantiate a new text if that's what you wanted to know but that's not really the scope of this video all we're doing is modifying the text and also let's go for the female real quick and say color is equal to red and then let's break that color save up jump into unity just like that if we spawn a fish it says female red and male blue but you see unity only has a certain amount of colors that they support for their text so i want my own custom color so this is where the cool part comes in so instead of giving it a color like this, you can give it a hexadecimal like this. So like say the color is like something F and like, I don't know, it's a hexadecimal. That's what they are like. But I don't want to hard code it in here. So what I want to do instead is I'm going to make a serialized field. And if you don't know what serialized field is, it's basically like public but it's just not accessible by other scripts. It's only so that you could see it in the inspector. 
So I want this string. I'm going to call this mail string color. And then I need another custom color for the female string color. So basically in this string, you need to put in your hexadecimal. So before we're going to assign this hexadecimal in the inspector, I'll show you real quick. First, we're just going to put it in here. So we're going to say color is equal to, and then right here you need to put quotations, and then plus, and then your hexadecimal. So this is the male string color. And then you want to do plus, and then you need to put this right here into quotations. So basically what you're doing is, so you have uh, bracket color is equal to your color, and then close bracket. Do not put a space here. Do not put a space here. Do not put a space anywhere. It's not going to work. So if this little format looks confusing to you, this is what we're going after. It just needs to look like that. So we have it's equal to our hexadecimal. And then we have this closing bracket right here. And notice there's no spaces. And then we can do the exact same thing for the female. So color is equal to quotation plus female string color plus and then that quotation right there and before we go see if this works definitely make sure we actually put in these hexadecimals so i want to show you how to put in the hexadecimal so here i'm just going to go to random color and it has a hexadecimal right here and it's 2775a1 what you need to do is copy this hexadecimal command c or control c and go to your variable and do hashtag and then copy your hexadecimal now it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not it does not make a difference but you need this hashtag right here so that the hexadecimal will be put in correctly i already have my own hexadecimals so i'm going to put that in real quick all right i put them in so now let's play and now we can see our custom colors all right so now if i spawn a fish it's blue male and when it's a female it's kind of pinkish female and this adds a lot of flavor to the text I really like it and I exacerbated the size of the text just for the sake of this video but what if you want more what if you want more with your text if you want to change the font size make it bold or italic or put a underline on it I got you fam on um, before we go any further I'm just gonna put on the screen right now so here is all of unity supported colors so say if you wanted aqua all you have to do is say color is equal to aqua and as well as all of their supported tags over here so if you want the font size to be changed all you have to do is come in and say bracket size and then you have to say it's equal to a size that you want i'll just put 30 so it's going to be smaller and as you can see i put this kind of format before color so now i have to put it after color and i'll just say break size break with a slash okay so i know this works but there's one more thing i want to show you you can come in here and say i'm gonna do for the female string I'm going to say make it bold and then I'll come and break this bold afterwards so slash B and then if you want to underline it you can come here and say you it's literally just like that and then come and break the underline right here and let me just show you a few more things you can do you could do um, so there's bold italic there's underline and there's also strike through and there's like other things like a b you can just look at the text and it shows you right here you got all these font styles for your choosing so jump back in I got a underline and bold and it keeps the same size but the male string size is smaller so it's gonna be a small keyword male and then the fish's name now if we spawn a fish right here it says female but it's getting cut out by my mask. So if we just kind of spawn like crazy, you can see that. And then the male one is really small because we said size is equal to 30. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that helped you out. If this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.